Hi, and welcome to this season of films about baseball being programmed online by the Jewish Film Institute and the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival. Uh, my name is Peter Miller. I'm the director of a movie called Jews and Baseball, an American Love Story. Uh, it's a story that I think I basically been waiting all my life to, to tell, and about a decade ago when a man from Toronto named Will Hector uh, contacted me and said, would you like to direct a movie about Jews and baseball? It took me about half a second to say, of course. And this is a, a story that taps into something that I think is, is really fascinating about America. This is a story not just of great ball players who hit the ball far or pitched it well or whatever. This is really the story of a um, of an ethnic group that had been on the outside finding its way into the American mainstream through our most iconic cultural institution, which is baseball. Uh, beyond that, I've always connected being a Jew and baseball somehow in my mind. Baseball to me is always theological and uh, the sacred dimensions of the ballpark, the obsession with history and minutia, um, the standing up and sitting down to organ music, all of this reminded me every time I'd taken a baseball game of something sacred and religious and certainly very Jewish. Um, in telling this story, uh, this wasn't going to be a story just of statistics and an encyclopedic listing of who the ball players were, who these 170-something Jews who made it to the major leagues were out of the 17,000 people who had played the game at the big league level. This was a story of how Jews found their way into this country, into the mainstream of this country, and became accepted um, as Americans through its most... Uh, iconic cultural phenomenon, this beautiful game of baseball. So we went out looking for stories, brought in fellow filmmakers, uh, Ira Burkow, the um, great New York Times sports columnist, came on to write the film. Amy Linton, my longtime filmmaking partner and the brilliant film editor um, of, of most of my movies, um, became the, uh, you know, part of the, our team and, and edited the film. We traced the story of Jewish ballplayers from the early days of immigration through the present um, and found that early in the story of Jews and baseball, there was a tremendous amount of bigotry, uh, that Jews were excluded from, from so much of American life, including the game. If your name was Cohen, you couldn't use your name and play in the major leagues until Jews started to become part of the mainstream culture, and I think baseball teams realized that they were part of the audience. And some people came up as ball players who were Jews who were pretty good. And the story starts to change, and it really changes um, with the arrival of Hank Greenberg, the first great Jewish baseball icon, the terrific slugger for the Detroit Tigers, whose career and whose um, his phenomenal talents as a ball player coincide with the worst times of anti-Semitism in America and around the world. You know, he's having his great years when Hitler is on the rise in Germany, when Henry Ford and Father Coughlin, the anti-Semitic radio preacher, and Charles Lindbergh, and all these awful people are spewing their venom. Greenberg takes it upon himself to prove them wrong through hitting prodigious home runs and leading his team to greatness. Baseball takes on a much bigger role than just a game that is fun to watch. It became something of the struggle for, um, for existence. Um, and as time goes on and Jews become more part of the American mainstream, the story changes and transforms. And eventually we get to the story of Sandy Koufax, the brilliant left-handed pitcher, you know, arguably the best left-handed pitcher during his um, best years um, in, in all of baseball history, who became not just known as a great ball player, but also as an iconic Jewish figure uh, in, in, uh, in American life and who graciously offered to give us an interview, even though that's something he rarely does. Sandy Koufax realized that 
we couldn't tell the story of Jews and baseball in America without his participation. And so he came over to my home and we filmed him and he talked about his career and he was a wonderful presence in, in this movie. Uh, we've had the pleasure of showing this movie all over the world and all over the country um, over many years, uh, though premiering it at the Castro Theater with the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival is really a rare um, treat with such a fantastic audience and such a wonderful venue. Um, and I've had the pleasure of showing so many of my films uh, with the Jewish Film Institute and the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival. Um, and in this unusual season, um, it really is my, my privilege to share this film with you again. Um, and I hope you enjoy Jews and Baseball, an American love story. Thank you so much for watching and, and stay safe.